Hey, what's up everyone? Today we have the VSR lock. It's a very, very tricky lock. It's a high pin count lock that has 14 pins, 3 on the top, 5 on the left and 6 on the right. And what is tricky about it is that most of the drivers are T-pins. And everybody hates T-pins, nobody likes T-pins because T-pins suck. T-pins pick in two phases. First you pick the wider part of it and they have like this narrow part at the bottom which binds later in the pick and when it binds it does not give you too much feedback and you have to sort of force it up and it's quite difficult to tell as I said if the narrow section is binding and uh, you might come into oversets when trying to set it so very very annoying anyway I don't have the best average times on it so I better get started so counterclockwise tension and let's go okay, click on the one on the right Click on three on the right. Click on five on the right. Moving on to the left side. A little click on one on the left. No. Five on the left. Not exactly what I wanted. Click there. Okay, now let's check the top pins. Nothing on one. Nothing on two. And three, nothing as well. Need to go through this. One more time because they're kind of tricky to get at. Honestly, I have been having some issues with it. Okay. Yeah, click out of two on the top. Something out of one on the top. And I think that's it. I'm not getting too much feedback out of any of the top pins. Okay, one more click out of one. The three is being weird. I think I'm gonna leave him alone for now. Yeah. See, it's just three pins, but how much work is there with them? Okay, let's check the side pins again. One, two, three. Four, five, or six. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, and five on the left. 
nothing there, so I guess something's wrong on the top. It has to be right. And I'm really thinking that I will release some tension and maybe click out of three and drop some pins because I don't like the way this is going honestly. Okay, drop something. Maybe something on the right. Just a little check here. But nope, doesn't seem like it. I'm gonna check the top again now. Click on one. Click on three. So I will go back to the side pin just in a second. Or well, maybe I click on one now. Maybe I click on three now. What was this? Okay, let's check the side things again. Nothing on one, two, nothing, three, nothing, four, five, six. I dropped some pins again intentionally. Maybe something will change here, I don't know. It didn't. Okay, let's go to the top again and try to pick it from the back. Three, two, and one. Click out of one and a nice bit of correlation actually. Never click out of three, like super little, but it was there. So I will check the settings again. Okay, there was a click out of four and correlation. We're getting somewhere now, that's for sure. Checking the left side now. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, but we are getting somewhere. Now one. Okay, nothing there. Three. Come on, come on, getting closer, I can feel it. One is being just a little weird. I don't know, I'm, I'm not gonna force him probably. I don't like this idea, honestly. Two seems set as well. Well now, what can I do is look for some hidden tippings because they like to hide. You just sit there, flush with the keyway, and they act like everything is fine. That's what tippings do. Let me 
to hunt for them. Something is holding me up. Click on five on the left. That was encouraging. Oh, come on. One, two, three, four. Five and six. Four. Oh. I think I will need to go back to the dog, I guess. Man, this lock is tricky. Well, I'm literally hanging on a lock, one tip in, I think. Cannot be more than that. On two, very little click. This might take a while actually. Nothing on two. I'll be damned, it has to be some side pin, I guess, because I'm pretty sure that I push these top pins like pretty firmly. So, it has to be a side pin. No, it's, it's not one, it's gonna be. Putting a lot of force in here and nothing's happening. Okay, so let's investigate. Maybe something on one. Two. Two is not giving me any jiggle. Why is that? I don't know. Four. Six. Okay, I'm getting a little nervous now. Just a little. It's not one. Not two. Three. Four. It was five. Okay. Oh boy, 13 minutes and a very painful thumb. Alright, so that was a fight, that was a fight. You see those details, they're the worst. Okay, so this lock is actually not guttable, not destructively. At least I think so, because it's, I will show you why. So I can unscrew this and remove this tailpiece, slide the core out. So the way it works is that this silver, or it's not silver, but silver looking plate is crimped to this brass plate. And basically the pins are under it. So if I wanted to remove this thing, I would have to undo the crimping. And I really don't want to do that, because I would fuck up anyway. And there's actually a lot of a lot of tiny springs, so I'm not going to be getting it. But yeah, the log is picked, I'm pretty happy, happy about it. So T-pins, remember that T-pins suck. T-pins suck, and if you encounter them, just keep looking. Keep looking like I did, because if I lost faith, I wouldn't have picked this log. 
so yeah all right so if you made it this far thanks for watching guys and see you next time hopefully with a lock that i will finally be able to gut see ya